What is going on, Wastelanders? It is me, Lone Vault Wanderer, and I'm here with a quick Fallout 4 video for you. I've been playing a bit of the Automatron DLC, and in my journeys in this DLC, I came across an awesome legendary weapon called the Tesla Rifle, or the Tesla Rifle. There are probably a bunch of videos about this already on the internet, but I only just got my hands on this DLC, and I want to quickly show you how you can actually get it. To be honest, it's not that hard, but I just wanted to put a video out there, because I used to do this series on my channel where I covered unique weapons. So how do you get this gun? First of all, you want to travel to the Fort Hagen Satellite Array. When you go there, you're going to encounter a bunch of enemies, and in particular, the Rust Devils. So what you want to do is gain access to the Rust Devils compound, specifically it's called the Fort Hagen Hangar and you want to go right until the end. I'm not going to show you the specific part because you're going to have to go down this path anyways in order to get out of the Fort Hagen Hangar. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? <laughs> but in the end, you're going to come across a mini boss battle with a lady in power armor who goes by the name of Ivy. Once you kill Ivy, you're going to get your hands on the Tesla rifle. Holy shit, this gun is fucking awesome. I, I didn't even know if this was unique to the DLC because I haven't played, you know, a crazy, crazy amount of Fallout 4 like some others have, so I could have said that this was a brand new weapon and someone would have criticized me, but I did some research and apparently, you know, this is something that's unique to the Automatron DLC. And also as well off Ivy, you can get some Tesla power armor, which is pretty cool. And now I'm just going to show you some footage of me spawning ghouls and actually using the Tesla rifle. It's pretty crazy, especially when you get a kill that actually just disintegrates the ghoul or the enemy with the blue light. It's just fucking awesome to use. And to be honest, it's becoming one of my favorite weapons in this game and this DLC in particular. So I hope you got your hands on this DLC because so far it's pretty fun. I'm about a couple of hours into it, um, but I'm having a blast. Anyway, Sway Sanders, that's all from me. In a couple of hours, I've got a new top five video coming. It's about the top five new DLC ideas that I've thought of for Fallout 4. So please keep an eye out for that in your sub box. And until next time, this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourself. And as always, keep fighting the good fight.